first developed at the Scorpia Fleet Shipyards a short few years before the outbreak of the First Cylon War. The Manticore-class Corvette was considered to be a fairly unremarkable design for the earliest years of its career, with many of the colonies feeling that the small vessels were not sufficiently intimidating to serve as an effective military deterrent. Opinions on the vessel changed, however, in the early years of the Cylon Rebellion, when Colonial Admiral McKennelly requisitioned a small number of Manticores, which had previously served as law enforcement vessels to bolster his existing fleet. In their service to the Admiral, the true tactical value of the Manticore class became very much apparent, and before long, the Corvettes had become a staple of the colonial fleet. 600 metres in length and 216 metres across, the space frame of the Manticore class is compact and functional, with a far more favourable thrust-to-weight ratio than most colonial warships. The Corvette carries a standard crew complement of 700, as well as a contingent of one 100 colonial marines for shipboard security and boarding actions. The small vessels carry advanced long-range FTL drives, allowing them to traverse far greater distances in a single jump, and when used in conjunction with the Corvette's sophisticated Dradis systems, these drives allow a Manticore-class vessel to serve as an extremely effective reconnaissance craft in addition to its primary combat role. A popular claim made about the Manticore Corvette is that its design is only concerned with two directions forward and aft, a statement that is fully vindicated by the ship's selection of weapon systems. At its prow, the Manticore carries an adjustable high-impact cannon, posing a serious threat to lighter hostile vessels, and running along both sides of its curved hull, the ship sports a number of horizontal launch tubes, compatible with a variety of missiles. Last and perhaps most unique of the Manticore's weapons are a pair of aft dorsal light gun emplacements, designed to continue firing at the Corvette's current target even after the ship has completed its attack run and begun to move away. As one of the smallest warships in the colonial fleet, the Manticore is designed for extreme speed and agility, and is primarily used in flanking attacks, as well as occasionally being deployed in large numbers for Wolfpack hit-and-fade operations. The ship's four sublight engines provide powerful forward acceleration, and the wider arrangement of its nacelle-mounted drive units allow the corvette to lever its mass to port or starboard with frightening speed. In a standard colonial Battlestar group, Manticore corvettes are often deployed in the vanguard, in the hope of using their speed and agility to outflank slower hostile warships, or to draw their fire away from carriers and mission-critical vessels. A popular application of the Manticore's speed was to use the corvettes in attacks against retreating enemy craft, or those previously damaged by colonial warships, in the hopes of either destroying them or disabling their FTL drives so as to prevent the enemy from repairing and redeploying those vessels. Widely employed by the colonial fleet across almost the entire length of the First Cylon War, the Manticore-class corvette has built substantial renown among the Admiralty, an accomplishment made all the more impressive by the design's humble origins, and across the years of its service, the corvette has turned the tide of numerous crucial battles with its unique blend of mobility and firepower. This video was commissioned as part of a promotional series for Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, an upcoming strategy game available on PC and console. Deadlock tells an original canon story taking place in the height of the First Cylon War, as well as offering a full skirmish mode for both multiplayer and CPU matches. I myself am very excited for the game, I can't wait to finally get a close look at the stories and battles of the First Cylon War, and I'm tremendously grateful to have the chance to help flesh out its new ship designs in this mini-series. I'd encourage you all to check out the links below for some more information on Deadlock, as well as some fantastic gameplay footage. Thank you all for watching.